Hello, my name is Dr. Hart Pinto and today we're going to be talking about medical ethics again and we are going to talk about the doctor-patient relationship. So there are four models of doctor-patient relationships. These include the deliberative model, the interpretive model, the paternalistic model and the informative model. Okay, so let's look at the deliberative model. So this is where there is a discussion of patient views by the doctor to try and clarify them and challenge them. The doctor tries to challenge the patient's views, attempting to steer the patient towards values the doctor believes is in the patient's best interests. This takes the concept of a doctor as a friend. The interpretive model, on the other hand, the doctor discusses the patient management in order to clarify patient views and promote patient understanding of the consequence of their actions. This is in development of the deliberative model, whereas now we respect patient autonomy by informing patients rather than manipulating their views. In this case, the doctor is seen as an advisor. Moving on to the paternalistic model. This is a similar relationship of a doctor with their patient as for a father and their child, hence why it's called paternalism. The father, or the doctor, is overriding the decision of the child. In a clinical setting, the doctor has the patient's best interests in mind and overrides the patient choice. This may be appropriate in emergencies where the patient cannot vocalise their wishes. This is in contrast to the ethical principle of autonomy. It's much in the favour of beneficence. This allows for uncertain patients to ask the question, should we allow the doctor to decide what's best for them? The doctor in this case is seen as a father figure. The informative model is where the doctor provides the patient with facts regarding their treatment. The patient then makes a decision based upon these facts and the doctor follows through on their wishes. Therefore, it's an informed patient decision. This promotes patient autonomy but decreases beneficence because patients may not make decisions that's in their best interest Therefore, it's in contrast, or opposite, to the paternalistic model. In this case, the doctor is seen as an expert. Sometimes the doctor-patient relationship breaks down, and we have to make the decision to terminate that relationship. We can do this when a patient has become violent or abusive towards members of staff, acts unreasonable, or is caught stealing from hospital or practice premises. Relationships cannot be terminated over a complaint against the doctor, a shortage of medical staffing, or a difference in political or social views of the doctor and patient. Where we decide to terminate a relationship, doctors must be satisfied that a justifiable reason for termination exists Doctors have a duty to inform the patient about the termination of the relationship and the reasons behind it. Preferably, this should be completed in writing. Furthermore, we have a duty to pass the clinical care of patients over to a suitable colleague. This ensures continuity of care. Thank you for listening to this lecture. I hope it's helped with your examination preparation. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section down below. If you wish to keep up to date with the production of our lecture series, please subscribe.